G'day legends, uh, we're out again. Sorry it's been taking so long to uh, get a video going, but uh, weather hasn't been great for recording and we're here. So today we are at, I think it's Klein Point or Klein Pod or something uh, called Klein something, just south of Stansbury on the York Peninsula. Beautiful sand flats, never fished here before. Uh, I'm gonna take my Shimano uh, Raider, which is six pound line with a eight pound Osha F liter. Um, and we're going to try and catch some whiting. I've got a bit of burley, got some top top uh, water lures, got some uh, divers, got some soft plastics uh, and my wading bag and we're gonna see what we can rustle up. So it's just an amazing spot. Uh, as I said, I've got my um, Shimano Raider 7 was it 722 brim one to four kilo a nasty 2500 shimano reel six pound j braid eight pound liter let's see how this water is oh it's cool but it's not too bad this just looks amazing out here to be honest and you know so many flats to try we're literally on the rising tide now so the wind is coming straight in our faces so i'm sort of walking out to the right to fish around to the left I guess. I guess before I get out there I'll um, better put a an actual uh, lure on. Now I've got a few different types of lures as I said. So we've got some uh, hard bodies, uh, poppers, some soft plastics and a metal vibe there, the new TT switch prawn. Um, and there's also a, uh, a Wilson down that bottom right there you can just see in there a Wilson Zeric Innovation fish trap. I think we'll try this one here on the top water. Uh, I've got some burley from How's Your Tackle, some um, some whiting pellets, so hopefully that can fire them up with the water movement. Good opportunity for some flathead through here too. But anyway, let's get this rigged on and get out there. Yeah, so we're just starting to wade out about knee height. We can see there's a sandbar out here. And then another drop off. Already seen a few really small bait fish, so that's a, a really good sign. The sand is a little bit soft underfoot, sinking, but in general it's pretty good. There's a little bit of weed here, which is gonna be frustrating with the top water lure, but we might be okay. I actually do wanna get over onto that, that next uh, sandbar area. We just got a uh, little eagle ray out here, which is a good sign. Means there's hopefully fish around. Just cruising through. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so we, we're over onto the second bar. It did get reasonably deep coming through there. So I guess I just have to be aware when I'm heading back um, because it was sort of, I don't know, up to hip high going through there. So obviously with the, with the tide coming in, I'll just need to be more and more aware of that. There's a little barely in the water, winds coming that way. It's just gonna cast out reasonable casts. It could also be worthwhile just putting a uh, paddle tail on here, seeing if we can get some interest. So not much action on that uh, top water. Um, I am guess I'm gonna try and cover both bases here with both the whiting and the flathead with the new TT Switch Prawn Plus. It's in the small or medium size, I think. Maybe the more, the smaller size, 44. I will put a little bit of S-factor on that as well. Just, uh, yeah, as I said, just thinking how I, uh, you know, there might be some some flatties sitting along this bank, as well as, obviously, if there's some whiting coming around with that burley that I've just put in the water, we might be on here. So this is the, I haven't fished with these before. These are brand new. Thanks to Rodney and the guys at Attic Tackle that I ordered them from, paid for them, not sponsored. So just gonna let that sink and I can feel that vibing already. We'll see if we can come across a flatty or as I said, a, uh, I have caught a King George whiting in the Port River on a soft uh, vibe. Now I think I've caught some weed here because no, we're back, we're vibing again. There is a little bit of weed around as you can see. So trying, I guess, to avoid that as much as we can. It's really strong vibe uh, motion can really feel it moving through the rod. Okay guys, um, not what we really wanted to do, but we have hooked this eagle ray on the switch prawn. Don't really want to do it because I don't want to lose a $15 bloody 
line uh, lure I, I felt something and i just saw this eagle ray screaming through and i went oh hang on has is it and then saw my line going in that direction oh that's good looks like he's off he's dropped it they're tiny hooks oh that's really good result sorry buddy just gonna check the hooks that they haven't bent out the old switch prawn plus we'll get you a uh, an eagle ray if you're interested but uh yeah really interesting well i thought it was a flatty when i first felt it um because i was obviously felt that somewhat uh not too much fight but no and uh yeah and then i saw it just screaming through and i went hang on my line's going in that direction anyway at least we got our lure back for a 15 20 lure whatever they are that was my main concern and obviously they don't need to catch an eagle ray if you don't want to so not much on the uh, uh switch prawn yeah we might give this paddle tail a go and again across along this bank here where the channel is see if we can entice a flatty with the uh z-man minnows mud minnows and the demon tt demon's head just uh, also worth might be a little bit oh, not too bad just conscious also i've only got eight pound leader on so if we do get a reasonable flatty it could be fun now are these the ones no they're not the ones that have the belly so we'll just get the old uh, s factor on here too in that cavity there all the way along make sure you get it all the way along the the body of the the fish absolutely love this stuff and just uh you know how that swims that tail action bit of flash off that tail as well to be honest i think it's a one quarter ounce head 20 heavy gauge hook and i'm just going to try a really slow retrieve at this point yeah it's getting a lot of weed that's our problem but keep the lure moving come back if there's action just got the uh soft vibe on now it's a great little channel between these two bars so you would hope that there's some activity of fish there especially as they might come up over that bar oh is that a fish ah oh, i think it's weed if it's a fish it's a very uh non-fighting one Ah, oh, there's a bit of weed. Yeah. Alright. We might just uh, head uh, head looking down here. Certainly that tide has come in. We were literally walking across those sand flats before over there. So it's probably come in half a metre or so already. Height wise. One more Matty. Let's get this uh, fish if there is one here casting over to the other side i don't know if you saw that landed just in front of that other weed line through there oh yeah i think we've got something oh it's weed oh that really felt like a fish mate guys <laughs> sorry it wouldn't have been a big one but it felt like a fish straight up oh, i'm not going to waste too much more time here i don't think I and mean, i know there's still more tide to come in but we just haven't seen anything at all of interest so gonna go back further up that way it's got a uh, little banjo shark here hope you can see him he's free and pretty cool yeah so there's obviously stuff coming up onto the flats looking for some feed but no luck for us but we'll get in the car head back north a little bit see what we can do so we're just down at a new spot i'm not sure if you can hear my squeaky shoes this is a spot I saw on the way through, but then I got down to Klein Pod and thought, oh, that's really nice as well. So this is just further north up the coast. Um, as you can see, the tide's coming in. Again, it feels like a pretty good whiting slash flatty spot. Got some rocks and stuff. We're just going to wait out there and see what we can uh, find. When I arrived at the car park, there are a few people there enjoying some crabs so they obviously got a feed early i was watching them crabbing out here while i was sitting contemplating the uh the area so uh yeah same setup got the shimano raider we've got the uh yabby color uh, switch prawn on give it a go and we'll see what we can rustle up 
so it did get fairly deep fairly quick there already up to sort of my waist and yeah wow it's getting uh getting really deep cast from here because uh i'm gonna run out of room now i do have a uh a new surf light surf rod set up coming which no doubt i'll do some videos on which would be perfect for this sort of scenario where you can't really get out there waiting don't know if i should tell you what it is yet it's uh it's a shimano t-curb 11 foot two-piece get excited again just a bit of weed not sure that looks like it's got squid eggs or something on it but yeah that looks like that might have squid eggs or something on it we'll put him back in the water we do like our squiddly diddly yeah so uh, a shimano t-curve it's a three to six kilo t-curve 11 foot two piece and it's uh i paired it up with the uh, 4000 stratic it's the fl stratic just didn't realize it got deep so quick in which case there was another spot that i stopped off at that uh looked quite good had a quite a good drop which again would be good for some flatties hopefully so that uh, beach location was a bit of a bust just come into uh port vincent and uh just again gonna throw some soft plastics vibes etc just mainly out here towards this pylon i have caught a snook around there before and if they're coming in with the tide uh, it might be interesting there might be some flatties around as well so the first one i'm going to throw is uh, what we put on earlier the uh, the mud minnows with the tt demons jig head this isn't on my lighter uh, radar rod this is on my tt red belly so this is a uh, yeah tt rods red belly three to six kilo with the uh, akuma itx 3000 reel we've got 15 pound j braid on as the the main line with a 16 pound osha f leader so i've got to cast quite a bit way to the right because uh that cut that uh, went around that pylon straight up so i'm going to cast actually along the weed line and see <laughs> you cast along the weed line you actually hit the weed line so just doing a slow retrieve a couple of flicks as i said there could be some flatties through here might just do the drag up because it's it's on a bit of a Hollywood drag at the moment but uh, paddling along nicely actually there is some deeper water just out through here I'm just gonna try and see if we can get in there really let it sink down I should probably I'll just do a slow roll now probably should put some uh, s-factor on that it swims really well I can see the tail flashing you probably can't with my polarized glasses and I can actually see that that tail flashing really well um if we don't get any interest over here we'll, we will go to the end of the breakwater uh because i would like to catch something even if it is not even but he, you know worst case scenario i'm hoping worst case scenario is you know a couple of squid three or four would be nice for dinner tomorrow this breeze is coming um straight in our face which is a bit annoying so the breakwater might even be a better option yeah all right so not really any action or not 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 really no action on that at all try the soft uh soft vibe and again hit that uh deeper ish channel out there let's get him on the mustard clip get our secret sauce Be slightly heavier to throw too so i'm just going to cast straight out over that didn't stop on me that time it's good little vibe Let's sink little vibe you get the idea good for a flatty a snook a salmon I might have a very tiny fish oh, more weed okay that's super annoying what's weird when you're using vibes is sometimes the weed feels like a fish so we're now at the breakwater at port vincent just gonna scoot across here just uh, gonna throw a squid jig out 
bit frustrated, a bit annoyed. I left all my brand new Inku squid jigs on the dining room table, which is not the spot you want to put them when you want to go fishing with them. But anyway, we'll have plenty of opportunities to try them out. So we've just got the uh, glow tiger on. Tide's coming in, it's coming around the, coming around the corner here into the bay. We'll see if we can uh, fire up some squid. And there we go, ladies and gents. It's not a donut day. I'm gonna get this out of our way, yay. Oh, well, sort of is now. He's down there, he's gonna get out. That's annoying. No, he's still there. We should be able to get him. No, he's gone. But the most important thing is we got one. Now, they're just hanging out here under this uh, line of weed, essentially. They're a decent size. Let's see if we can hook another one. So I'm just going to let it sink so it doesn't actually catch the weed on the top. And I was sort of almost dead sticking it and he took it. So I uh, just had a bite then. It, this weed, I mean, they're obviously hanging under the weed, which is some cover structure for them. But it also makes catching them bloody difficult because you got to keep fighting and not getting your, your line in the weed. So I almost need to uh, really just cast it out reasonable way there let it sink so we're not right up on the surface and then gradually just slow roll winding it it in i mean they're decent sized tommies you know didn't bring again any bait i'm just happy i oh, see you, you're just catching the weed all the time so we're now just off the um, wharf at port victoria at port vincent uh just caught a little tommy or a reasonable tommy 20 probably 20 18 to 20 centimeters just on the uh, z-man Micro Shad Fry Z 1.75 inch and we're getting still some bites on it but they're being really timid in terms of committing and getting tap 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 there you can see the line goes straight just not getting the hook up not sure why they're not yeah taking it down the throat very very smart fish because they are a reasonable size they're big enough to take the whole bait so if you are fishing off of this wharf just between the line of the two pylons here on the left there is just a little bit of a deeper gutter uh, which is good i've caught i've caught some flathead out of that gutter and literally just through here throw some burley out the tommies generally come through i don't have any bait today so we're just um we're just fishing with the soft plastics i'd love to get 10 tommies but at this rate they're pretty few and far between I've seen some reasonable size salmon caught off of here before on soft plastics. I mean, if I don't catch any more Tommies, that's fine. The one I've got can put in the freezer hole and be used as a squid teaser. So it won't get... Oh, come on, take the fate. Or the plastic. So you won't go to waste either way. You're getting tap, tap, tap. You'll probably see the line. If you can see the line, it'll go straight pretty soon. Oh, oh my God, what? Oh, I don't know what happened there. Because that felt big. I must have pulled hooks or something. That was weird. Unless he just pulled me down and I grabbed the bottom at the same time. But yeah, I was just chatting to a guy who uh, hooked onto a very large ray. Probably a good eight to nine foot across. Certainly longer, wider, well, probably not eight. Yeah, maybe seven foot across. It was definitely looked bigger than me. In terms of height or width compared to my height I might actually change to the uh, the vibe the switch prawn for the fact that the hooks on it I might use this uh, what color is that the uh, the onyx tiger just for the fact the hooks on them are quite small and it might get the uh, the tommies to take it I'm gonna throw out some more burly just quickly just using the tackle tactics whiting pellets got it yesterday at the Adelaide Boat Show off the uh, Marion Bay Caravan Park, I think, store, store. There we go, get some S factor on that. And we just might vibe it down there and see what we can get. I was thinking about going to Ardrossan to see if we get some squid after this, but it's been a pretty big day, to be honest. I've been to a number of uh, locations and tried pretty, uh, tried a lot of different things without a lot of success. To the point where I don't even know if this is good enough to go on YouTube. Caught two fish. 